everyone, I'm Hannah and I'm editing this video and I thought it'd be worthwhile to know why move-in day looks so different this year and why it is so so weird and so so different for me. Basically COVID sums it up but pretty much we were only allowed to move in ourselves like we didn't get any help from our parents or anything so that made the move-in process a lot longer and a lot more stressful but it's fine. And also we all get our own rooms because of COVID, so that's a plus. What else? What else? I didn't go to school in the fall. So this is my first like actual move-in day. Yale did not let sophomores go back to campus in the fall because of COVID. So I didn't go to school at all because I didn't want to take online classes. So this is my first semester as a sophomore. This was my move-in day. It was kind of crazy and I'm kind of tired still, but I think it was, I think it was right. I think it was really great. And if you are new here, my name is Hannah. I am a sophomore at Yale and I study political science, religious studies in Spanish and like and subscribe. Thank you and here's my video. It's six o'clock at night and I've been in my pajamas all day. Okay, so we are packing for move-in. Excited. Yay, hmm. And finally we make it to the morning of move-in and I wore this grow outfit and I put on this Patagonia because I knew it was gonna be cold and yeah i just didn't want it to be too hot or too cold so i don't know but then i braided my hair and it turned out beautifully actually it turned out like this and yeah i just want to put it up out of the way you know and we started the morning with a bible study got my bible got my journal and my devotional book and so i'll see you in a little bit when we're driving there moving in we gotta take two cars Say hi. These are my sweet mates, Kat and Amy. <laughs> Yay! Aw, oh, so cute. <laughs> and then we're just driving and driving, and finally we we're so close to New Haven. And we go up this little bridge thing, and we see New Haven, and it's so exciting. Um, I love the drive there from my house. Also, side note, we were all together without masks because we had already spent time together from before move-in day. And so then when we got to move-in day, we took a COVID test and then we have to go to our suite and then wait for results. So this is us finally arriving at our drop-off area. We picked the earliest time to move in and it was so fun. It was actually kind of stressful, but yay. And so when we got inside, we picked up our keys and we picked up our meals for the first days of our quarantine until we get a negative test result. We had to move all of our stuff and we have this long, long, long hallway. So the movers just drop the stuff outside of our front door and they're not allowed to go in our room and no one is. So we had to bring all the stuff and i kept running down the hallway and i don't know if i'm gonna get tired of it or not or i'm just gonna like use it as my own personal workout this hallway but my room's at the end of the hall so it was kind of annoying like dragging all of my stuff down the hall just back and forth but we got used to it we got a workout it's okay hello i'm filming on my phone because I didn't want to get my camera dirty because I'm sweating. Uh, strong. Now I'm going to build a little cart. So, let's see how it goes. Oh, I need a knife. I'll be right back. Hello. <laughs> okay, so it turns out we have no couch okay. at all. Oh, I do not have a kitchen cart, but that's like, oh. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna like drink coffee all day. Standing in a circle, drink coffee. So yeah, you heard it right. I have a kitchen cart and I used it to put my espresso machine on. 
Um, I love that thing, really. But it took a while to set up, so I was doing that for a while and setting up a bunch of other things. Um, but then we ended up putting our snacks on it, and it's just like a really cute, neat thing to have, I think. And my dad got me a little toolbox, so that was nice. And it was made it a lot easier to set up because else I wouldn't have anything to set up with. And then most of it in the beginning looked like sanitizing everything. And I basically just put two Clorox wipes down and like walked around with them to clean the floors and stuff. Um, Cause I don't, I didn't bring like a Swift or anything. I don't really feel like doing that this is just as easy and i think it works just as well but this was later after i decorated more so you can kind of see a little bit i decided to take a lunch break because it was too much it was too crazy these are meatless meatballs and pasta so it's exciting i'm gonna send a picture to the fam Okay guys, I'll have a live review of my first Yale meal. I don't know if it's real cheese. I didn't melt it all the way. It's like pasta. Let's try the meat with me told. It like tastes like good at like spices but it's like the texture it's weird i don't know how i should like design my room like where i should put the desk and like all that and then we were back at it and i was really confused doing the bed i had my mom's help last year um but I kind of struggled like getting around the bed figuring out how the mattress like cover goes on so i don't like use the gross mattress that other people used um but here's just a time lapse type video of me putting the mattress cover on so that is so fun so entertaining it was really a blast when i finally got it on because it honestly took me like 20 minutes and then we were onto the sheets and we put on the fitted sheets. I don't know if this is anyone else, but I like doing the like bed covers first because if my bed is like done and made, same when I'm making my room normally, it just like makes me feel so much better. So I made the bed look all nice and I put like my pillows, my blankets on it and everything like that. And then we started doing like actual decor because I wanted to get that all done and like off the floor first. I'm adding a cookie. Because this is taking forever. And some of the other decor I did was like put up my paintings that I did. If you look at my community tab, I posted a picture of all of them. But I put them up nice and they look so pretty. But I will have dorm tour later. And here's my empty dorm tour so this is my desk and this my giant window is almost the whole size of like my wall it has a view of another college at yale and right near there is sterling memorial library so it's pretty and um this is my bed obviously you saw me make it just all of my junk on the floor um so you could walk by that but i have to pack uh, unpack it all and my closet's right outside of my room and that's how everyone's closets are their cat's room and then her closet and then there's amy's closet in her room so it just like really neat i think it was made for a three person single and this is our common room at the end of the long hallway and we just have our rug and our window and then the kitchen cart and our fridge and our microwave but that's all i have for you thank you guys so much for watching and please like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> okay whatever's good <laughs>